Russia is winning the economic war, too, the Guardian admitted. Since the Russian intervention in the Ukrainian civil conflict began in late February, the West has launched an existential economic war against Russia, meant to destroy the Russian economy and immiserate the Russian people so much that they overthrow their own government. The White House press spokeswoman Jen Psaki assured us that the Russian economy is basically destroyed and Western sanctions have reversed 30 years of economic progress in Russia. CNN headlined, How Putin Destroyed the Ruble and Brought Russia to the Brink of Default. Three months and at least six major rounds of sanctions later, Russia is now by far the most sanctioned country on the face of the earth. But its people are not protesting in the street. Putin's approval rating is at 84%. Approval of the intervention in Ukraine at 81%. Speaking of which, Russia is now clearly winning despite massive Western arms supplies to Kiev. See, it turns out that Russia is a major provider to the global economy, including the West, of so many vital commodities that everyone needs. Oil, gas, wheat, sunflower oil, as well as several crucial metals and chemicals. Now, unfortunately for the West, trying to cut those enormous supplies of vital commodities out of the global market threaten insecurity of supply and the prices of energy, food, and other commodities skyrocketed, resulting in the crazy inflation that you all are seeing right now. Now, Russia quickly found other buyers for its commodities in the rest of the world not participating in the West's war of sanctions. The ruble, despite an initial panic-driven downturn, is now significantly stronger than it was before the intervention began. It's now the best performing currency in the world, up 11% on the US dollar. Meanwhile, it's Western taxpayers that are facing ever-increasing inflation, energy costs, rising unemployment, declining living standards, and slowing or negative growth. I'll return to the stagflation of the 1970s. So I ask you, is the economic war on Russia really worth it? Do you accept that?